The Formulatrix Tempest is a flexible and precise liquid dispenser commonly used for assay development using design of experiments protocols. The Tempest uses microfluidic chips that dispense discrete volumes of liquid with high precision. The Tempest is usually equipped with plate stackers, each able to hold up to 24 SPS plates. This means a single protocol can fill many plates, either as replicates or as different combinations of liquids, and it can even do this across different plate types. So here's how to run a workflow on a Formulatrix Tempest using Synthase. First, make a workflow in Synthase. Choose Tempest as the execution mode and select Tempest input plate as the input plate. You can either define your plates in a single aliquot element or define each plate in a separate aliquot element as shown here. The order of aliquot elements on your workflow builder or the order of plates defined in your single aliquot element will determine the order in which the plates are dispensed onto by the Tempest. You can also add a pause and prompt element to add a pause in between plates. If you want the Tempest to automatically continue after the pause, click Auto Resume or untoggle this if you want to manually resume after the pause. If you're using a pause and prompt element, this will always need to be in between two elements. When you're happy with your workflow, click Simulate. Synthase will digest the information from your workflow and generate instructions for your Tempest shown in the Preview tab. From here, you can download instructions for your Tempest. You'll download a zip file containing three types of text files. The dispense lists ending in .dl provide the volumes and locations of where each liquid will be dispensed. The plate layout file ending in .pd provides the geometry of all the plates you'll use so you don't have to define them in the Mantis software. The multi-dispense list, ending in .mdl, will be present if you're dispensing onto multiple plates. This is used to control the order of each dispense. First, you'll need to put these files into specific folders on your computer. So, extract the folder to unzip it, and put all of the plate layout files into the plates folder, Put all of the dispense list files into the dispense lists folder and put all of the multi dispense list files into the multi dispense list folder. It's best not to rename files at this point, but if you do, ensure you don't delete the suffix. If you're struggling to find the correct folder for each file type, you can simply open up the Tempest software, go to Tools, Open Data Folder, and you'll be directed to the correct folder. Once the files are in the correct place, you can open up the Tempest software. Every liquid you use with your Tempest will need to be added to the reagent list in the Tempest software. To add your liquids to this list, click Tools, Reagent List. So, add a new liquid, assign a viscosity value and a dispense mode. These values will define how the liquid is dispensed. Then, each of the liquids you define in Synthase will need to be assigned to a chip. Simply right-click on the chip you want to use and select your liquid from the drop-down. When all of the liquids are assigned to chips, you can start to set up your device. First, you'll need to turn on the pump and the device itself. Then, load the input liquids to the positions you selected previously. Simply place the tubing from the chip into your input liquid container. If you want to use a pipette tip as your input container, attach it to the chip and choose a tip as your container type on the Tempest software. The ordering of the liquids on the input positions doesn't matter as long as they're connected to the correct chip. Then load your plate or plates onto the stacker. If you're using different plate types, you'll need to ensure they're in the correct order, so you can refer back to the Preview tab on Synthase to make sure they are. When you're ready to run the execution, 
you'll first want to prime the lines with your liquid to ensure the chips are ready to dispense. To do this, click the Prime All button. If one of the lines doesn't quite look primed, once again click Prime All to ensure they're completely primed. If you're using a pipette tip as an input container, you can select it and click Prime Input to just prime this one chip. To run a single dispense list onto one plate, load your dispense list by clicking the folder icon and selecting the correct file. You can then assign the liquids by right clicking on the chips in the input control section or by dragging and dropping the liquids from the reagent list. When the chips are assigned, press play. You can then repeat this for every dispense list you want to use. In the Synthase workflow we made earlier, we chose to dispense onto three plates using the plate stacker. So first, we'll need to enable the plate stacker. Go to the stacker settings tab and select yes from the dropdown. Then back on the dispense settings tab, next to run multi dispense list, select yes from the dropdown. Now, if you click play, you'll be prompted to select that multi dispense list file that we downloaded earlier. So let's select that and it will automatically pull the information from the dispense lists we downloaded earlier and ensure they're run in the order we specified in Synthase. Then press play. The Tempest will kick into action and dispense onto the first plate. It will place that plate onto the second stacker and begin dispensing onto the next plate. Remember, the ordering of plates will now be flipped, with the first plate being at the top. When your execution is finished, you'll want to wash the chips to clean them. To wash one chip, select it and click Wash Input. And to wash all the chips, click Wash All. The way the chips are washed is configurable, but in our case, We've set up a water and a 70% ethanol wash station and it will wash through first with water, then with ethanol and once more with water. And that's how you run a workflow on a Formulatrix Tempest using Synthase.